Mosquitoes are important vectors of human disease. This seminar is going to focus on controlling mosquitoes to protect human health using Inzeco chips. My name is Phil Kaler. I'm a professor emeritus in the etymology department at the University of Florida, and I'm also one of the inventors of the Inzeco chips. Let me give you a little bit of background for this presentation. Mosquitoes are important vectors of human pathogens. For instance, Aedes mosquitoes are the main vectors for dengue, Zika, and chikungunya viruses, which are important diseases throughout the entire world. Culex mosquitoes are important vectors of West Nile virus and other encephalitis. And Anopheles mosquitoes are best known for their transmission of malaria. We did an integrated mosquito management project in Honduras that I want to talk about that included education, biological control, which included turtles, fish, and copepods, which are important predators of mosquito larvae. And also we used Inzeco chips because they are very friendly to the environment and also very effective in controlling mosquito larvae. Let me first tell you a little bit about the Inzeco chips, which are designed to kill mosquito larvae before they turn into blood-sucking adults, and they are an environmentally friendly way to kill mosquitoes. The chips kill mosquito larvae in virtually any container. They have an insecticide coating that is in a polymer to stabilize and slowly release the insecticide over time. The insecticide is actually pyroproxyphen, which is an insect hormone, and that is not related to any of the hormones in our bodies. The hormone kills mosquito pupae as they develop into adults. These chips can be used for treating any mosquito breeding containers, and the insecticide polymer coating will kill immature mosquitoes over time. We found that it kills these immature mosquitoes for at least one season or at least for three months. The most interesting thing about the Enzeco chips is how easy they are to use and apply. All you have to do is drop a chip into any container where mosquitoes may be developing. The larvae hatching from the eggs die when they pupate and the chips prevent mosquitoes from developing for three months. On the right-hand side in this slide, I have the life cycle of an Aedes mosquito, which is important for dengue, Zika, and chikungunya disease transmission. They will lay their eggs in small containers like pots and bird baths and any other small container that you have around the house. And the larval stage will develop to the pupal stage in about four to five days. It will remain in the pupal stage for one to two days. It's during that time that the mosquitoes die, and then you have control of the mosquitoes. You don't really care about the mosquito larvae in the water. They don't bite. What you really care about are the numbers of adult mosquitoes that are biting, sucking your blood, and possibly transmitting disease. The chips are the ones that are, are used to control mosquito larvae. Each chip can be dropped into containers up to five gallons in size. And, and if you have larger containers, you can use, for instance, four chips for 20 gallons of water. We decided to test the Enzeco chips in cooperation with Operation Blessing in Honduras. Operation Blessing is one of the largest charities in America and provides relief in 39 countries around the world. I happened to meet the CEO, Bill Horan, who's pictured on the left, a few years ago at a meeting in Washington, D.C. When I explained the chips to him, he said he wanted to see how they worked himself. Now, Roberto, who is the research scientist in the picture on the right, uh, is standing next to Bill Horan, 
and Bill said he wanted to learn how to use the chips. I told him, you really don't have to fly to New Orleans from Norfolk, Virginia to use the chips. They were so easy to use. So there he is, he flew to New Orleans anyway and wanted to drop chips into containers by himself. And he absolutely loved it. He said, why don't we do a research project in Honduras? We decided to test the Inzeco chips in Monteverde, Honduras, which is a suburb of San Pedro Sula, the second largest city in Honduras. It has a population of over three quarters of a million people. At the time, they were fighting a deadly dengue fever outbreak that is transmitted by mosquitoes. They were also fighting Zika virus, which is transmitted by mosquitoes. And additionally, they had a great fear of chikungunya, which was an epidemic situation there in Honduras. You can see on the lower right-hand side, some of the roads in the city of Mata Verde. One of the most interesting things about Mata Verde is that they relied on weekly water delivery for drinking water in the town. What would happen is that a truck as pictured there would drive up with a large container of water and then give it out to people once a week on Saturdays. People would come with their own containers and take the water home to store it. When we surveyed the numbers of mosquitoes laying eggs in those containers, we found that there were large numbers of mosquitoes laying eggs, and we say that more than 10 eggs per container is too many. You can see in the, in the table on the right that each container had hundreds of mosquito larvae that were breeding in those containers. You can see in each one of these pictures the numbers of containers that are found around the town that are breeding mosquitoes. So they had large numbers of mosquitoes because they had a large number of containers that were allowing mosquito larvae to develop into adults. Mosquitoes didn't only develop in the small containers used for storing water, they also developed in wells. What they would do is hand dig a well for irrigating their crops or small plants for food. And they would line the sides of those hand dug wells with tires, which is a high rise condo for Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. Those are prime vectors of dengue, chikungunya, and Zika virus. Mosquitoes not only developed in small containers and tires around the wells, but also they developed in pilas, which is a water storage system for a house. It usually is a combination of bathroom and kitchen sink and also laundry that we would have in the United States. So there's a picture of a pila and the way it's used by a woman cleaning dirty pots and pans on the right hand side. We felt in order for our program to work in preventing mosquito development and also preventing disease transmission, that Operation Blessing and the University of Florida would have to do an integrated mosquito management program. In that program, we trained volunteers. There on the upper right-hand side, you can see that volunteers are being trained by a member of the Operation Blessing staff there in Monte Verde. We also used and Zeco chips there in the lower right picture there in the lower right hand side in the control program. The total integrated mosquito control program in Mata Verde also included copepods, which are important predators of mosquito larvae in containers. We also use turtles, which can feed on mosquito larvae, and top feeding minnows, 
which are fish that also feed on mosquito larvae. We felt that biological control could also be implemented to supplement the action of the Enzeco chips in the control program. Sometimes in a community, it's very difficult to educate adults, and it's much easier to educate kids. So we implemented an education program of school kids for biological control of mosquito larvae, how they develop, where they develop, and how they can be managed in the community. We have pictured there some kids that had gone through the training program, and they actually colored in pictures of fish and copepods and turtles for them to understand the importance of all of these in mosquito management. Just a little bit more on the Inzeco chips that we used in this program. You can see that the Inzeco chips are currently in development to be sold throughout the world. They contain polymer embedded mosquito side. They will provide one season's worth of control in most cases, which would be at least three months worth of protection. To verify that the Inzeco chips can actually kill mosquito larvae for months, what we did was place containers of mosquitoes covered over with mesh bags into the water that had been treated, let those containers float on the water, and then count the number of mosquitoes that died in the process of emergence. We found in this particular test that the chips will kill mosquito larvae for months after placement. The insecticide in the Inzeco chips is a synthetically produced insect hormone, which has virtually no harmful effects on humans or other mammals. It produces pupil and adult defects in mosquitoes due to exposure of the larvae in treated water. For instance, on the top four pictures, you can see some of the deformities where adults are unable to fully emerge from their pupil skin and even remain in the larval stage. On the bottom two pictures, you can see adults that are deformed and not capable of flying, not capable of sucking blood, and of course, not capable of transmitting disease. So the Sustainable Container Mosquito Control Program that we put in place in Mata Verde, Honduras was actually integrated. The basis of the program was in Zeco chips and those chips were placed in all the pilas, drums, buckets, and cisterns in the town to provide mosquito control. The Inzeco chips actually worked for about six months, even though on the, on the product description on the right-hand side, you can see that they are supposed to last about three months or one season's worth of control. The Inzeco chips are in the process of being developed for people throughout the world. Another component of the integrated management program for mosquitoes was to release copepods into tires. The copepods, as you can see in the picture on the lower left-hand side, are predators for mosquitoes. They actually consume mosquito larvae in the tires, and they were released into as many tires as we could get them into. You can see a volunteer releasing them on the right, and what we found was that even though the tires were treated with chips, the copepods were not harmed by the Inzeco chips. Another part of the integrated mosquito control program in Mata Verde, Honduras, was to release turtles and fish into wells, tires, and cisterns throughout the town. On the left-hand side, you can see a turtle that is eating mosquito larvae, and also mosquito fish on the left, which are top feeding minnows, which are important predators of mosquito larvae. We found that even though the wells, tires, and cisterns were treated with Enzeco chips, the turtles and the fish were not harmed.
So if we summarize some of the points, so if we summarize some of the points in this lecture, we know that mosquitoes are important in transmitting mosquito-borne diseases. For instance, Aedes mosquitoes transmit dengue, Zika, and chikungunya viruses. Culex mosquitoes transmit West Nile virus and other encephalitis. And of course, Anopheles mosquitoes transmit malaria. In Honduras, we took on Aedes mosquitoes through an integrated program, which included education, the use of Enzeco chips, and biological control. The mosquitoes were controlled and the diseases were eliminated. If you would like to learn more about the Inzeco products, go to www.inzeco.com on the web to find out more information.